Rock crawling carnage is really the perfect spectator sport. And this week on At Your Leisure, we're previewing one event that puts the action right in front of the crowds. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rio Rossi Booth. Where can your family not only see action like this, but get a chance to participate as well? We'll show you. Then, Reese Stein sails off the coast of California and explores one island that has beauty, adventure, and baseball history. Finally, Steve rides the trails in Ohio. Own the outdoors now with AYL. You know, Rhea, for some reason that reminds me of a bear uh, in a tree kind of scratching his itch. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the world of carnage. This gentleman here, Steve Nance, he is showing us how it's done. Yes, we are at the old school rock crawl for At Your Leisure today. This is an annual event that takes place down in Delta, Utah, and you've got competitors from all over the Mountain West and a few from even beyond that come here just to drive over these man-made obstacles. Right, these, these obstacles are actually natural rock formations all around the West, and Craig Stump, everywhere. who's in charge of this, goes out and makes these things. That's true, so we're gonna find out a little bit more about the event and what prompted it to get started. The reason we put this on is because it's in our family, we love it, it's in our blood. I love to come out here and, and build these courses and let the guys come out and drive on them. I love to watch the look on their faces when they're upside down because I've been there with them. I'm an old competitor in the old days from U-Rock and, and, all, and all that. We just love it, that's why we do it. Craig is definitely twisted and demented. Uh, we've been competing with Craig for a long time in, in uh, U-Rock and ARCA. We actually competed in, in his initial adventure and we love this event. It's all brings out the local, you know, the Utah crowd and, and it gives guys really that opportunity to see what competition is, is like and, uh, you know, they don't have to bring a, an overly built rig like this. They'll, they'll go out and they'll practice with their spotters and they'll work with team, you know, they get their teamwork down yeah. and they have radios and they'll talk to each other and they have hand signals. So it's, it's more than what meets the eye. We built these out of old pieces of concrete, tires, and when we got all done, mounded, we just mounded it all up and we poured dirt on top of all that and then carved it out to the unique shapes that you see today and then sprayed it with concrete, just like a swimming pool. The family atmosphere and the down-home guys, it just uh, makes it enjoyable to be around my type of people, the same kind of person that I am. You know, it's a really good event, love, love the locals. Well, for being man-made obstacles, they sure hike like you're climbing to the top of a mountain, Rhea. Yeah, this is the smallest obstacle they got here, that one right there. <laughs> yeah, and that's the one you're not supposed to drive over. Yeah, I better not move it. <laughs> Bad idea. All right, well, we got a little bit of a wind coming up, which is going to add more to the obstacles here. And, uh, of course, right now it's the time in our show where we t take away from the course and go to our travel adventure. Check out this story this week. Well, you would be hard-pressed to come to an event like this and not see some very familiar names like Maxxis and or Terraflex. Anybody that does any off-roading knows these brands. Welcome back to At Your Leisure at the Old School Rock Crawl in Delta, Utah. We talked to some of the drivers today and found out their stories, how they got from the curb to the peak. Well, my first Jeep was a 1990 Jeep Cherokee that I bought when I was in college. And I remember thinking how invincible I was that for the first time I had four-wheel drive and I could go wherever I wanted. Because obviously with my disability, I'm limited on where I can go and what I can do and I can see. But all of a sudden, having a four-wheel drive, I had doors open to me that had never been opened before. At least 50% of the enjoyment is building it. That's the only way a normal guy can afford it, is if he does the work himself. My grandsons, him and I bond together because this is what we do together. And they're better drivers than I am. And they all started with me. I actually started at this event. I, uh, I had an old Toyota pickup, and so I took it down, and I think I broke about every part on my Toyota that day. But, <laughs> but we were hooked. We, I took it home, made it stronger, kept going, and 
now here we are back at Delta years and years later and now I've got this thing to show for it. Okay, I have never seen one of these before, which is one of the reason you go to events like this. This is a side-by-side -side with a three-cylinder automotive engine, a five-speed transmission, and independent lockers front and rear, lever in manually. So, this is an Orion, and it is absolutely cool, so let's see what it does. Fire extinguisher on the top, just in case you have a fire. <laughs> yeah. I grew up in Jeeps in Moab on my dad's birthday. We always rented them, and I drove a dirt bike. And I decided when I got old enough to have a roll cage, I wanted a cage. <laughs> Yeah, I was coming down and the front end was sucked in too high and then just dropped in that hole and over I went. I can't make it. I've tried. I tried and tried and tried. Couldn't make it. That's a hard admission for a guy that's got a, a custom buggy and a team number here. Yeah, I know. There is no better modification than you can do to your Jeep than seat time. The more time you spend in that driver's seat, the better you'll be. And then as you make it more and more capable, you'll be able to go more and more places. So the best thing I can do is get it, use it, have fun with it. Climb, Dave, climb. Look at that. Is that amazing? Yeah, I'm, you know, I remember you did that once with your car when you missed the garage door. <laughs> <laughs> you were about that same angle. <gasps> Look at that. This guy's from Moab. He's amazing. Well, I guess it's inherited down there. Yes, it, it's in the water. It's in the mother's milk. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, we are going to leave from ringside down here at the old school rock crawl right now and take you to this week's trailhead adventure. I think you're gonna like this story. Looks like it's gonna be a great show next week. So in your moment, your agony of defeat, do you feel better now that we're at Reed's? Indeed, I have my patty melt and my fries. Listen, if you're ever recreating in central Utah, you've gotta hit this place, Reed's Drive-In. It is so good. Right. Every time you come. <laughs> so rest assured, whether it be here in Nephi at Reed's Drive-In or anywhere in the West, if we find a cool place to eat or something fun to do, we will tell you about it. Well, that's a hot jalapeno, <laughs> which is why you should be watching at your leisure every single week. That's right. And remember, too, that there's adventure around every corner, but you can't experience it if you're sitting on your couch. That's right. We'll see you next week. Mm. Five, three, broke, cable, Recovery is. What did you get? Oh, I got a little. Uh, so you can. <laughs> you have a message. You have a brand. You have something worth experiencing. What you don't have is an audience. It's time to change that. It's time to partner up with the number one outdoor program in the country and show the world what you have to offer. Advertising on At Your Leisure is effective and affordable, giving you an audience that dwarfs anything else out there. Backed by a proven force of outdoor adventure. Contact the AYL team at 801-947-8888. It's time your message was heard. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're going to want to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're going to want to like it, you're going to want to share it, and you're going to want to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're going to want to do, click, right? Click, click, click. on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you going to sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you want to click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.